Welcome back. An Amtrak train hit a dump truck Monday in northwest Missouri, killed the dump truck driver and four people on the train. It also injured 150 others, bringing up an important question. Why do we still have Amtrak? Especially, why do we have Amtrak in the middle of a cornfield crisscrossing America? By all accounts, it is far more dangerous, less efficient, and more expensive than flying. And yet, we, the taxpayer, still massively subsidize a slower, more dangerous way to travel to the tune of $2 billion a year. Take safety. The last fatal crash of a regularly scheduled domestic airline occurred in 2009. In that same time period, there have been 10 fatal Amtrak crashes. 10, including two Amtrak trains in Missouri on their routes to the American West. Which is curious, because there are far cheaper and faster ways to get to the American West than take Amtrak. You could, for example, take an airline. Four hours and 32 minutes from Chicago to Los Angeles. On Amtrak, you would not even be to Kansas City. It takes 43 hours on Amtrak, 10 times as long, and costs $9 more, 183 versus 174 to fly. Yet Amtrak continues to get billions of our taxpayer dollars. Here is their CEO explaining what Amtrak will do if it gets the $66 billion in additional subsidies that it wants for expansion. Phoenix to Tucson is a great example, or, or you know, Cleveland, Columbus, Dayton, uh, Cincinnati, uh, uh, Los Angeles uh, to Las Vegas. When you sit at home and think of the challenges that America faces, getting from Phoenix to Tucson, well, that's clearly on top of the list. In case you are wondering, if you're not exactly an expert in Arizona geography, there is a major highway connecting Phoenix and Tucson that we all paid for, and it takes less than two hours to drive. Reasonable people can agree that with the exception of Washington to New York, maybe Washington to Boston, Amtrak is a boondoggle, and on its face, a complete waste of your money. For example, the $2 billion a year, well, we could give that to other causes. The $66 billion that the Biden administration wanted to give Amtrak could double the amount of food stamps given to needy and hungry families, could build an accessible home for every veteran that lost a limb in the Iraq War or the Afghanistan War and still have $65 billion left over. It could also buy five more aircraft carriers, which would, of course, get the attention of the Chinese along with the rest of the world. But no, we aren't going to do any of that. As you heard, it is time to build a rail link between Cleveland and Columbus. So a government-subsidized boondoggle can transport people for more money, slower, and more dangerously than the private sector solution. In other words, it is the perfect Washington invention. Hence, Amtrak is forever protected, or in the words of Ronald Reagan, the closest anything in this world will come to eternal life. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.